Tsurimbo only cares about winning. He doesn't care if his choice was good or bad. APC Chifting. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Rati Zonzo, a chieftain and senior member of the All Progressive Congress, APC Party in Adamawa State, has joined the position to the party's Muslim Muslim presidential ticket. Bola Tsunamu, the party's presidential nominee, came under fire from Nzonzo for allegedly hurting the interest of Christians in northern Nigeria. He claimed that the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate Tinubu choice of a fellow Muslim as his running mate could have serious repercussions for the party among Northern Christians. According to Sahar reporters, Nzonzo, who is running for the National Assembly as well, firstly denounced Shatima's selection as a fellow Muslim, saying that it amounted to offending Nigerian Christian sensibilities. He said, Let me be as direct as I can be. I will not be afraid to express my anger over the all progressive con Congress decision to make our presidential ticket a religious matter, he remarked. Making it a Muslim Muslim conflict has highlighted the problem of religion in Nigerian politics. Through his maneuvering for the ticket, Tilimbu made a vow to choose a Northern Muslim as his running mate. He explicitly stated that in order to succeed, he must nominate a Muslim, a Muslim vice president from the North. Therefore, from the beginning, he did not portray competence, as he would later want us to think, instead he depicted religion. Before it occurred, the governor of Kano, Abdullah Yeganduji was overheard saying that Tsenembo had pledged to offer them a Muslim vice president from the north. Other well known names have been confirmed. Does this imply that Tsenembo is not sufficiently, sufficiently Muslim? Are there two different types of Muslims, or what is the problem Nzunzu inquired? He insists that the divisive ticket could endanger the party's prospects in the north. Tinumbu is just concerned with winning the election, regardless of whether it is morally correct or not, which is why this issue has done more harm than good. What happens to Christians running for office under the All Progressive Congress now, like me? Are we now claiming that Christian votes are worthless? And if they are, are you not asking them not to cast the ballot for me? Sincerely. You see this question, are there two types of Muslim? I think that is where we should start from. Because to me, it has been a thing of a northern Muslim does not see a southern Muslim as being Muslim enough. Because we all know that the Muslims in the north, please, no offense meant, no offense given. Muslims in the north are mostly extremists. Those who are at that, at that down, down side of the rope, those that... You know, what we say, if you commit anything, you know, you, 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 you should be taken to Sharia if you steal, your hands are caught. So, you know, those kind of very, very, very extreme. No, 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 no. That is not even supposed to be. When you hear it, your stomach chants. So are they trying to tell us Nigerians now that they have two type of Islam? They should make it clear to us. They should make it clear to us. And another point that struck us, Tunumbu is just concerned with winning election. Sincerely, do you know up till now, this man called Jagaban of Lagos has not given us his manifesto. He has not come out to say, okay, this is what I'll be doing for the people of Nigeria. I'm not even singing us a little bit. You know, I say singing a is similarly to coming out to tell us that, oh, I'm going to make one naira to one dollar. I'm going to create 40 free free million jobs a year. I'm going to stop insecurity. They're all rhymes. They sound like lulabe that you sing a baby to sleep. Without you telling us workable strategies, walk up through the process, help, okay, well, you're coming out to run for presidency, right? That means before now, you should have been doing your homework on what will work and what will not work on the problems of Nigeria. Walk us through what you've been working on. Let us see the future of that Nigeria will crave for in your eyes. Help us see the vision clear. Do you know that this man has not done so? So now I ask, they are so caught up in the pre-election period, forgetting that it is actually the post-election period that matters. It is the post-election period that matters so much. 
It is life after the election. That is when you see people is either they are heaving a high of, heaving a sigh. I mean, heaving a sigh of relief, or they are actually coming out to, to 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 heave to to, to be downcasted. What is he a, a, a sigh of relief, or what have I gotten myself into? That is it. He's not coming out to tell us, okay, uh, uh, this is why I want to become the president. He just wants to be president. You are not telling us your reasons for coming out to become the president. And it is very scary. And I've said it before. Any particular leader who wants to do everything in his power, who wants to commit every atrocity, he does not mind. He does not mind if he steps on toes. He does not mind if people are hurt. He does not mind if he does the right thing morally or not. He just wants to sit down on that seat of leadership. Watch out for that person. That person will not do any good if, with that position if he or she gets it. That is always the case. That is always the case. The desperation to win is what... <laughs> the desperation to win is what will kill him before the election. That is... No, no, no. This is too... That is too harsh. I've said it. You can air your views and your opinion without coming out to be so, so offensive. Okay? Let the youth in Nigeria wake. Let us arise and take this country by ourselves. Let us vote for P2B. Today, dollar is 700 naira. Let us vote for P2B. If you fail now or suffer until 2031, vote for P2B. Let me keep saying it. Any candidate, that is why I'm even telling us, whoever your candidate is, can you do a little research about him? So that when you hear things about him, you're not going to be shaken. If you do research about your candidate and you know, you know what your candidate can do, whenever you hear things about him that are contrary, and because you have done research about him, you know that ah, this is actually not true, you are going to be able to carefully switch. You know when they, when they say switch, let's say for instance, you hear that, oh, you're, you're a market and you hear that your product is bad. You understand? You start hearing the product is bad. What you do is... You keep shining the light on the part of a product that is actually good. If it is actually a product, what the products do, the benefit of a product maybe to the body. If it is something that can be used on the body, you keep shining the light. What you're doing is you're trying to take off the light of all the disadvantages and making sure you place the light on the advantage. That is just it. If he doesn't care, he will simply pick a Christian who has the crowd. But no brain. Hmm. So are you saying that, <laughs> man? No sensible and reasonable man will go for a Muslim Muslim ticket at this period of high religious tension in our country. Unfortunately, not only Muslim Muslim, but a Boko Haram bandit and a terrorist as his vice. I beg if you should leave me alone. Okay, on those notes, you have come to the end of a news message. Thank you for turning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.